So we have exhibit number one, New York City. Saturday, 8.30 p.m., Times Square, the tourist nexus of Manhattan. All right. Four thugs, maybe five, when all done, attack police officers. I kick them. You're seeing it right before your eyes. Okay, this is in the middle of Times Square. Who are these thugs? They were arrested, so we do know who they are. Darwin Ezekiel, 19. Kelvin Aracha, 19. Wilson Juarez, 21. Yorman Reveron, 24. And there's another guy. All are in this country illegally. All migrants. All arrested. All almost immediately released with no bail. Now, Jorman Reveron, he's got another crime on his sheet. He was arrested, okay, on November 30th, last year, for robbery. But he's out. They won't hold him. This is public disorder. Now, the police officers were hurt, minor injuries. But these guys are in the country illegally. They attack police officers. They're arrested. And then they're out on the street again to do it again. Now, you remember Kate's law that I proposed that Mitch McConnell single-handedly killed in the Senate would have passed had he gotten behind it. That would have meant immediate deportation for these five guys. Okay, but don't. See, case law was a federal law that would have superseded the anarchy we have in New York and in Chicago and in Portland, Oregon and in San Francisco and on and on and on and on. We don't have that now. What we do have are 10 million migrants, about a million of whom are going to cause destruction and crime because 10% of every group is bad. So 9 million out of the 10, they'll be law abiding, do what they should do, but 1 million won't. We got to deal with 1 million people that shouldn't be here. All right. So that happened in New York city. And uh, then I asked myself, what is likely to be the, upshot of all this. Well, obviously, the five who attack the police, they're going to be miscreants. You don't attack police officers if you have any respect for the law at all. You don't. You don't. Okay. The city of New York hates the police. The city council overrode a veto by the mayor and is now keeping the police actively off the streets to fill out paperwork because they hate the police. And it wasn't even a close vote. It was shocking. It was like 51 to 9 or something, or 49 to 9. It was crazy. Crazy. Um, So New York is going to go the way of of San Francisco. San Francisco, maybe the nicest physical city in the country. So uh, since 2021, San Francisco travel reports that Visitors to the city is down 44%. Total spending by visitors down 70%. San Francisco International Airport traffic down 58%. Tourism, that means conventions, meetings, this and that, down 69%. The city is going to be bankrupt probably the end of this year. It's going to cease to exist as a functioning city, San Francisco, because they will not enforce the law there. All right. The value of businesses moving out of San Francisco is now more than a billion. I think it's 150 businesses out. Okay. Because they can't do business now. It's going to happen in Manhattan. Manhattan is the highest real estate values in in the country. Where do you see what happens? So not only the citizens of New York City are going to leave, the affluent citizens, the poor people are trapped. But conventions and people coming from abroad, this and that, they got to, no. 
they go someplace else. Maybe Florida, maybe Texas. I don't know. It's not the par of New York, but you're going to see a drastic decline in the economic profile of New York City because the far left politicians are destroying the city the same way they did in San Francisco. How about Chicago? You in a hurry to get there to Chicago? Okay. So monthly murders in Chicago, 52. Every month, 52 people killed, right? And less than, I think it's now 20% of those murders are solved. I mean, killers get away with. D.C., uh, crime totally out of control. That's the feds. That's Biden. Biden controls the District of Columbia. Totally out of control crime. Does he care? No. He doesn't even have to go into D.C., Biden. He goes out on the lawn, gets in the helicopter, helicopter takes him to the plane or takes him to Delaware, and then a helicopter takes him back to the lawn. He doesn't have to see it. They don't care about it. So the point of this is that public disorder is at an all-time high in the United States under Joe Biden's presidency. 